guys, my name is Jimmy Davidson, and today we're going to do the Kong Front Dash Out tutorial. So the Kong Front Dash Out is two moves glued together. The first part is just a Kong Front Flip. To do the Kong Front Flip, it's really helpful to first know how to do a, a front flip on the ground. I'll give you a few slow motion examples as a reference, but uh, you can look up a different front flip tutorial. I'll put a link in the description. So for the Kong Front Flip, you're really just doing a front flip over the block and you're assisting yourself by pushing off of the block. It's actually easier than doing just a regular standing front flip. So I'll give you an example on that. A good thing to keep in mind, it is not a front handspring. A front handspring, you open up your body and you heel drive around. On the Kong front, it's just like a front flip, but you're pushing up off of the block. So it's not a front handspring. I'll show you a front handspring so you have a good reference. On a Kong front, you stay tucked in that front flip position. All you're doing is pushing yourself up and away. The second part to this move is a, just a regular dash fall out. This the dash. This is a basic ball, so I recommend knowing this and knowing it really well before attempting this move. Okay, so there are a few progressions before trying the Kong front dash out. The first one will be a double Kong. You need to have a solid double Kong to be able to get that initial push and be able to judge the distance between the two objects you're trying to do the move over. So a double Kong. What's really important in the double Kong is the first Kong. The ability to push on the block and get your body up in the air. The, the hands, how you push on the block, is identical to the Kong front flip. When you go into it, you're going to go up and push your body up. It should be like you're literally doing a push-up off of the block. When you're doing the Kong front flip, it's the exact same hand position, the exact same muscles. You just happen to be doing a front flip instead of the first part of a double Kong. Okay, so to start this move, I recommend trying it on something that's short with no gap in between. So if you don't have a gym with blocks like these, you can go to a park table or a park bench or anything. Anything that's not too long and does not have a gap in between. What you want to do first before trying the Kong front dash out is just double Kong it. You need to be able to double Kong it so your body can get a sense of how far it is and a sense of how much power you need to jump into it. Once you get a good feel of how much power you need to go over the object, you can start trying the Kong front dash out. When you exit the move, when you're doing that dash out, when you're halfway through the front flip, you're going to reach behind you and feel the object with your hands. Once your hands get there, you're going to try to hold yourself up and let your body finish the rotation. So you're almost going to catch yourself on your hands and wait for your feet to come down and then do the dash fall out. The sooner you get your hands down on the object, the safer it's going to be. If you wait too long to get your hands down, you risk crashing your tailbone into the edge of the object, which would be bad, obviously. So if you do have an object with the gap in the middle, like I said before, make sure you double Kong it first so you get an idea of how much power it's going to take to get over the object. Some things people run into trouble with is not getting enough power off the initial Kong front flip. So I recommend just practicing the Kong front flip. A lot of times people don't get enough push or they treat it like a front handspring. Make sure you get a good jump and you get a good tuck. And as you tuck, that's when you push off of the block. You don't want to push too early because that will stunt your front flip and you'll end up just pushing into the block. It should be jump, begin your front flip, and then start pushing up like that. Alright guys, that was the Kong front flip tutorial. I'll give you a few different angles of slow motion. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks guys, I'm Jimmy from Temecula Parkour. And if you have any more comments or if you want any more parkour tutorials, head over to AmericanParkour.com and they got your hookup. Thanks guys.